Hey, it's Alex with alextucker.ca, and welcome to the fourth tutorial in your first affiliate marketing sales funnel, uh, the YouTube series that I'm building to show you how to create a affiliate marketing sales funnel using GrooveFunnels and GetResponse. So if you don't have GrooveFunnels uh, or GetResponse or another autoresponder, then you can sign up for a free lifetime account for GrooveFunnels with the link in, in the description, and you can uh, uh, get a free trial for GetResponse using my link as well. Uh, so check those out. And uh, if you're here from the previous videos, then you'll remember that in the last video, we created a landing page in Groove Pages. Before that, it was just kind of introductory stuff. And what we did in the last video is we took a template and created this very simple but effective landing page out of it. So it looks good on all device sizes and uh, it's gonna be a very high converting landing page if I were to use it, um, which I might do. I do have a domain related to this, but I think today I'm just gonna show how to create the thank you page. And then if there's time, I'll demonstrate how to uh, publish to a Groove Pages subdomain, but most likely we're gonna leave that for the next tutorial. Uh, but make sure you stick around till the end so that you know uh, what happens. So anyways, I'm here in uh, Groove Pages in my uh, page that I'm working on, and I want to create a new page in this funnel. So I'm gonna go to Funnels, and I'm gonna click on Funnel 1, and then I'm gonna go to the plus sign here to add a new page, and I'm gonna use a template. I could start from scratch or I could import from a URL, but I'm gonna use a template. And I think that there are thank you templates, so I'm gonna search for that. Yeah, see here's some different thank you templates. Um, I think I like the looks of this one, so I'm gonna select that. Yeah, that'll work pretty well, I think. So basically, just the exact same way as we did with the landing page, we're gonna customize this to uh, kind of suit my brand. And we're gonna set it up as a bridge page to our affiliate offer. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just configure the logo really quickly. Should have put in alt text there, but I, I just wanna get through this quick so that we might have time at the end to do something else. And then for here, I'll say, thanks for signing up. Or wait, this was supposed to be a video training, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. This was supposed to be a video training, so that actually still work well. I'm just gonna delete this. And then in that container, we'll put a, a YouTube video so that could be, um, well, just leave the placeholder there, but that could be like the martial arts training. Um, and then here we'll put, enjoy the training. And then here we'll say, want to learn more? Tap the link below to check out Super Extreme Karate Class. I don't like that. Class. And then rather than this, actually I can just use this. And then we can just go, uh, you know, uh, com. I'm not actually gonna put a link in there, but that would be like where the affiliate link goes. And then you could have your, your social medias here if you wanted. And to update these social media things, it's just kind of like updating an image. You select it, you go to configure, and then you can change the icon. You can change the size of the icon, the color, um, and where the link goes to. So you'd want it to go to a URL, you would put in uh, open a new tab, and you would put in your uh, you would put in your 
social media pages, just like this. I have too many social media pages. All right. Got to be careful of not changing the uh, thing, but th this is actually a good demonstration because so if you lose the if you lose it or you want to change it, you can actually search right here for the different icons. So I'm gonna put it in Facebook, find the one that I want, put it to the color that I want, and hit update again. And now that's back to the way it was, more or less. Um, Try 5XL. Yeah, that looks right. So anyways, I'd do the same thing for each of these and I would uh, add them to my to my socials. I mean, to be honest, I probably wouldn't put these here because I, I would if I'm using an affiliate link, so I would actually probably get rid of these just like this. And then I would wanna get rid of this container as well. And I would just put the affiliate link right here. And then underneath of that, I could see just duplicate this to move it around easily. Underneath of that, I can say um, I am an affiliate of this product and may receive a commission if you make a purchase using my link. A little something like that. And I don't like the weight. Why does it look bold? It's not bold. There we go. That looks better. And actually, we can make this one a little bit bigger. Anyways, yeah, so then that would be, I would add my privacy policy link. I would add any terms and conditions that I have. I would add my branding down here. And then we would have a nice uh, bridge page uh, slash thank you page. So I'll just quickly fill in the rest of this information, I think. I don't uh, need terms and conditions. I just need a privacy policy. All right, so I've kind of touched this up a little bit. I've added in all the information that I can. So all that I would need to do now is have a uh, martial arts related affiliate product to promote. And I would basically have this funnel all set. But we are coming up on 10 minutes. So I think I will leave the uh, publishing to the Groove Pages subdomain until the next uh, tutorial. Um, so actually I'll just Last thing I'll show you is how to configure the YouTube video because it's a little bit different than most places. Uh, so if you want to add a YouTube video, you add the element like I did, and then you click on it and you go to configure, and then you need to get the, your YouTube video shareable link. And then at the end of the URL, there will be a code that looks kind of like that. And you just replace this code with your code. And then you can enable autoplay if you want, and you can hide controls if you want and uh, you can also adjust the aspect ratio and then you just hit update and uh, yeah so that's how you modify the youtube video and uh, maybe i'll actually find a, an offer that i can promote and we'll do a real demonstration with this uh, but anyways stick around for the next video when i will be publishing this to a live groove pages subdomain and you'll actually be able to come check out the funnel and uh, visit it i'll have the link in the description of that video so make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet Please give this video a like and uh, give me a comment if there's anything that you need help with. I'm always here to support you.